You may well have made one of these paper snappers, and they go like this. They make a bit of a pop. Not very much of a pop, because it's rather flimsy paper. You can do much better if you use a bit of cardboard. And here's how you go. First of all, you need a square of paper. So take an ordinary piece of writing paper, and it's usually shaped like a rectangle. Take the short end and fold it accurately over to one of the long sides. And if you do that carefully, give myself a bit more room here, point Fold it in half, edge to edge, and crease it, and then cut off the remainder down here. That should leave you with a very nicely formed square. And that's the snappy part, or half of it will be the snappy part of your paper and cardboard snapper. There we are, a square of paper. Now you need some cardboard. And you can use old cereal packets. I've used a cardboard folder here. If you put the paper on top of it, and cut around there, you'll get a cardboard square of exactly the same size. In fact, this is what it will look like. There we are. A paper square, and underneath it, a cardboard square of exactly the same size. Fold that cardboard square in half, do the same with the paper square, and in this case, cut along the midline so that you get half a paper square. And so those are the ingredients you have. A cardboard square folded down the middle, point to point, and half a paper square and you fold that in half too. And when we've done that, it's just a matter of gluing the whole thing together. There we go. The half square of paper is creased down the middle as well. Now if I open those out, you'll find that there are two points which have a crease running through the middle. One on the square, one on the half square. And that's the way we have to assemble it. Gluing that edge to that, and that edge to that. In fact, I like to use sticky tape because the forces generated in this are absolutely tremendous. And if you're not using strong stuff like sticky tape, it'll rip the whole shebang apart. Well, here we go. Get it accurately placed and zonk. There goes the sticky tape. And we've stuck that down. Now, the crease means you can fold that one down there, this one down here, and again with the sticky tape, getting it accurately positioned. I'm rushing it a bit here. But put those two edges together as well and trim off any excess. And there's one thing left to do. I said those forces are terrific. They'll actually rip the thing apart if you're not careful. So when you've trimmed off the sticky, that would otherwise get in the way, open it all out and fold that green part in. You see there it's just going to sit like a pocket and run a last bit of sticky on the free edge of the paper. There we go. And that'll stop it tearing. And that's the paper and cardboard snapper. Make sure it's not stuck to itself. Fold the green paper in, and you'll notice that when you use it, use it with the opening down, and that paper will fill up with air like a parachute, and that's the snapping. For the first few tries until you get it broken in, hold it right at the point. Here we go. There we go. And if you make them very well, they'll make quite a decent noise. <laughs>